Okay, so it's January 15th, 2020, and I am calling the Board of Health meeting to order. It's just after 7 p.m. Okay, so we have uh, one scheduled appointment for a discussion of a septic alteration plan. We have a number of items of business, and before we go into our agenda, uh, I am going to announce an item to be added potentially added to the agenda as it was not reasonably anticipated by the chair 48 hours in advance of the meeting and then we can vote to amend the agenda and that is for a food establishment permit renewal anything anyone else has that's come up I'd like to add do we have a motion to add this item to the agenda so moved second all in favor aye, aye. aye. okay uh, so maybe to save when the agent arrives, let's take that food establishment permit. Well, there's, do we have there's another other one? Okay. Do we need to do something with the money? Yeah, it's, it, there's it's, a lot of echo going yeah. on here. Like it's feeding back through something. Right, I'll put you down. <laughs> <laughs> no, is that any better? <laughs> a little better. Can we all no, just it's still echoing. Yeah, right it's here? like the speaker turned yeah. on in here somewhere. That it's feedbacking through, or I should say, okay, feeding. So I back see. Through. Or maybe if maybe if it could be that all of the mics were off, unless oh, you're. Is at the yeah. 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 Something isn't right. Of three. Yeah. It's gonna drive me crazy. He, he's doing. He's looking. <laughs> well, don't talk. It looks like he's looking. <laughs> okay. Are we ready? Oh, that sounds less echoey. Maybe. Okay, so let's look at uh, under other business two, item two. We have the 2020 Disposal Works Installer Permit Renewals for approval. There's Ben Stevens of Trask, JC Parmenter, TJ Morris Contracting, and WC Rao or Rowe. Uh, are they all in good standing? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Submitted applications, done work in town before. Okay. All right, so do we have a motion to approve those four? All conditional pre construction. Okay, with that condition. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, and I'll need a good pen for you. I just have to felt. Something's still screwed up. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is that it? Because I usually don't say anything. <laughs> I think it's this whole. Thing. Yeah, it didn't Isn't the seem to have any from effect. Uh, Ooh. Someone bang. Go like this. One at a time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, me Let's first. Let's go in order. That's all of them. Yeah, it just made mine doubly bad. <laughs> okay, while well, he's doing that. So then for under three, we have 2020 food establishment permit renewals. And uh, one has a sodium restriction, so I guess we'll do it separately. So uh, for the Unitarian Universalist Area Church, uh, renewable and they have uh, for a renewal and they have sodium at 92 milligrams per liter that they'll need to post so do we have a motion to approve <coughs> so moved second all in favor aye. 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 aye aye okay and then for the uh, uh, food establishment permit renewal for sunshine farm do we so have a motion 
Second. All in they are in on Framingham Town Water, just so you are aware. Okay. So no sodium issue, hopefully. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, we have the The annual report. I don't know. Did anyone have a chance to look that over? I think the only thing I was wondering is. Do we want to comment on the? My only thought was just the regulatory changes. Whether it's worth commenting on those. Yeah, there's just a very brief mention of it in Mark's oh, okay. section. Um, not his section, but septic systems, wells, and community health. And then somewhere in here it talks about uh, this past year involved regulation review and changes in this process is to continue with assistance provided to the Board of Health in these changes. So, um, right, do we want to say more about challenges that the town is facing increasingly or? new situations, any embellishment? And if so, I'm, I'm is there okay. someone who would want to do that? I'm okay with that embellishment. Okay. Any other? So did every, everyone saw the? From, I was going to ask about the email from uh, that Marion Neutra. Oh, um, right. Wants. I wasn't quite sure do do what. Did I, I didn't. <laughs> Yeah. To tie it, to go through and tie back what we do to the yeah. master plan? Yeah. Does anyone want to do that? No. I can't quite fit it in. I'm so behind. I mean, I went through and started to look, and there are things with timelines. I don't know how they will be met with the staff right. you have and what they hope to have done. But in case with the continuing priorities of what the other requirements for that staff are. Right. It is a regulatory piece that we have to meet and satisfy. And so. I mean, there was one thing that we do anyway. I, I just can't find it. Hopefully. There was one, one item in there was something we just do. But a lot of the other things were new. There. I mean, it'd be nice to do. Right. But we uh, keep having all these other things come <laughs> up that are time consuming. And so, but I don't. All right. So the only thing I can think of is if we put out, find out if there are any people in town who want to volunteer for the Board of Health, not as a member, but to help out with these tasks. That's the only thing I can think of to uh, What do you have in mind? I would also just be fine this. saying I totally get that you want to have that, and yet you may not. <laughs> Maybe not this year. Like, I don't know that it's this year when you're like, here's a regulatory piece, here's the things we want you to weigh in on. I think that if you said, town of Sherburne, which of these things would you like the Board of Health to spend their time on? Understanding the 40B, understanding Jamison Fields, understanding general chemical. That seems like enough. That's your plan, right? Like, right. I feel like people would say, this is the piece. I would love to have the bandwidth and capacity to do new things, but I don't think any of us feels like there's a bunch of new time to do something. Like, I think it's more important for us to consider the open space subdivision for us to work on labs than for us to put up the language to do that. I think it's a good thing for us to say, hey, this may be a gap we have this year. What's our plan for the next year to make it easier to achieve that? But, you know, mm. I wouldn't go through heroics. My personal belief is just not to go through heroics to do it or to. So then the question becomes, I wonder if we could add one sentence that says the Board of Health acknowledges that there's a great deal of overlap between the master plan and what the duties of the Board of Health are. Something to that effect that just is but one I, sentence. But I, but I think we can also more. say, like, like right now we're collaborating with the planning board to look at the open space subdivision. That aligns with many of the pieces. And you know, I think that we're consistent with that. Mm. 
Well, why are we the lead? Hmm? Are you guys talking about this? Uh, sort of about that, and uh, and how it dovetails in with our and report. So, I mean, who who made this master plan? Uh, the planning board, board and a lot of subcommittees. Yeah. It was a couple year effort by many many people. In okay, but who made the assignments about who was going to lead some of these efforts? Did um, Marion? They did, and they somebody? gave us a chance to look at it. I recall, and so there are some comments about, I don't remember exactly, but yes, that could be something that the Board of Health has authority over or could weigh in on, but resources are a question. So I think that was raised with them in terms of, hi, oh. sorry, one of us should talk, and I want to hear what you have to say. So, did you say? I would like to hear the rest of your sentence. I apologize. Oh, but I'd like to hear what you have to say, and then I'll go back to my sentence. Oh, I just. It's hard to know how the allocations of responsibility have been made. Right. Well, they did put it out for review and comment mm -hmm. when we were all on the board. So. Um, but, but I would say, like, that's separate, right? Like, I, yeah. I'm not saying, yeah. like, I think if, so the deadline's not the time for us to say this isn't the piece we're doing. Like, I think looking at Marion's email to have, you know, a short summary of the project's pursued actions taken or plans made by your board that are in line with the recommendations to the master plan. So I don't know that we have to speak to, you know, are we on target or off target for the implementation table? I think kind of commenting on provided input to multiple 40B projects being pursued in the town of Sherburn, you know, provided guidance for safe disruption of ledge in the context of construction, sought community mm -hmm. feedback. Like, I'm certainly happy to put together a couple sentences along those lines. Oh, that'd be great. Um, <laughs> sounds good. So I'll, I'll put that together, but it's not my intent to say, here's all the things that were assigned to Board of Health yeah, in that no, document. No, no. That's totally fine. I think we can say, like, We've had the conversations and can include that. It seems like that's right. Satisfied. And as I said, back when we were reviewing it, we talked about again, maybe appropriate allocations, but difficult to achieve or to have a timeline on that because of uh, limited resources. Right. Well, and I think even with more resources, like if faced with the competing priorities we've been faced with, I think we're picking the right oh, things. Oh, I mean our re yeah. resources too. So I did find this section that it's on page 159 under town center number one. Consider allowing composting toilets, gray water systems, and innovative alternative septic technologies as governed by the state. You do that. So. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm even okay with saying, yeah. Yeah. here's our general pieces yeah. of the things Ellen highlighted. Here are things yeah. that we do that are thematically related as opposed to like town center number one. We did this, right. town center number two, oh, we did right. that. Like I think we can say right. broadly, what are the, what's the broad yeah. body of work? So I will be responsible for putting it together and then just send to Ellen. Yes. That sounds yeah, and I also think sometimes they're complex we'll issues. By the end of the week. Okay. Okay. People don't yeah. always know that we, what we already do mm -hmm. and people don't always know um, understand why we do other things. And that's all. Yeah. Like I think it's because from the outside, you know, no, no, there are totally things that are overlooked that we do that are just routine. I think for us, nothing will right here will change people's perception of that. I think that's just mostly to check a box. I'm fine. I mean, I guess so. Some of these, like, still pretty echoey. Um, yeah. Like item three on page one fifty nine. It's saying like basically enable development in town yeah, within the regs, and it's just that's not. Well, no, but I think that's like the open subdivision conversation, right? Like I think it's on our job to say we're going to make development happen. I think we're not a development body. No, but it's basically saying revisit your regs to. We totally revisit our regs. Yeah. We didn't arrive at the conclusion that doing that was compatible with our core mission, and whether or not somebody else said, "Well, you should do that." Well, like our mission statement doesn't say that's what our job is. Right. It's, it's, 
right? And so I think it's okay to say, no, no, you can totally put that in the Excel spreadsheet, and it is, I don't disagree with it, but it's not to say our job is to eliminate the regulations that are central to what our role is. Like, we've had conversations about the layer cake design, we got feedback and consultant input. Like, I think there are lots of things that we've done that are consistent with what is defined in the master plan, but I don't know that the board ever voted to say, I sign off on my job is to enable development. I don't think it's to enable or disable, I think it's to right. provide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no, I well, mean, so I agree, the but sentence it's, just, it's the, the way, it's very yeah. yeah, it's I mean, very the, loaded. The way the sentence is worded. But we're yeah. not gonna change that, yeah. right? Yeah. No, I understand, but let me make a comment, which is unnecessary devaluation of land due to septic constraints, yeah, which incentivize it. But the problem is that a really good way to devalue land is to have contaminated water supply. But I just so think like this is we sad. Have to be careful like, yeah. about wording like that because really yes. our job is to help within state and local regulations to try. But I don't think we're endorsing that language. I think it'll say, here's all the stuff you said was on our docket. Here's the stuff we did. I'm sort of putting together a paragraph that says, here are the things we did. I don't think it's to say that the devaluing of land by making sure it has safe drinking water Right, like I, I don't think we're asking, like this is the plan. We're not yeah. endorsing the language. No, and. Uh, but I so, think that what I want to say is I think that it might be valuable for us to just have a conversation about this because it might. I agree. It might it's, represent a it, misunderstanding on their part about yeah. what we are trying to do. We aren't, I think that it's not appropriate for us to comment on development. It's not our job. Our job is only to protect the drinking water. I mean, in this particular sentence you know <coughs> we're not interested uh, one way or, we shouldn't be interested one way or the other we should be a disinterested body with that particular goal so two things one is i agree that kind of sends a different message as opposed to i think the reverse is going on is that the land in town is relatively cheap compared to in urban areas so that's why it's attractive to developers, mm -hmm. it's priced cheaply also because if it hasn't been developed yet, there's often a reason for that. Lack of resources. Lead, a lot of ledge, yeah. <laughs> you know, Doesn't wet perk land, or, right, yeah. they already know that. So it's actually the flip is that um, but does we were not focused on some of those other things, the value of the land might go up. But I don't know that it's being devalued by anything that but I didn't say right like. Now. But that's also say, like, not our. Right, like I'd say, people can job. sort of say externally, "This is what you need to do," and I think yeah. we have to be consistent with our regulations and to provide oversight, mm -hmm. public. But access. right, it's asking the, us to revisit the regulations. Yeah. No, no, we totally did, yeah. and we determined no change was necessary. Right. I think, like, I think there are pieces with the layer cake where we also are thoughtfully <laughs> saying, "Like, let's look about this and think about this. What does the data show us? How does that fit in?" I, it, like revisiting it doesn't mean we have to change it. It means right. that we need to continuously evaluate it, which I think we are in the context of new data. I, th I think the stuff on 164 is more problematic because it's all about that we're going to create and implement a testing program for water yeah. and that they're, right. what, I mean. So I think we should revisit all of it. I just think yeah. like that's separate from what we have to do now, which is just write the brief response. I think we mm -hmm. can also say, I haven't seen the town of Sherburne say we would like Board of Health to get data on our wells that affect its resale value to publicly share. Like I've heard nobody say that that was their goal, right? Like nobody. I think we've talked about that it would be nice to have at least a database, and we also talked about the pre-transaction requiring, you know, right. sampling, yeah. and that again making a database. But I don't. I didn't get the impression that that was actually a supported notion. Right. I, I, I think it's a very tricky thing Contentious. to put, yeah. yeah. Right. To put all the burden on the current owner. Right. Right. Uh, all I'm saying exactly. is that what's on this paper versus <coughs> our discussion's reality, and maybe right. Matt can just artfully address this. Yeah. So, but, so my piece is, they don't actually say, please, like, if, like look at the text of Marion's email. It says, please describe updates that may be in line with this. It's not give us an update on each of these rows. Yeah. I'm not going to give you an update on each of these rows. We'll talk, like, looking at these are the pieces for which we're responsible. 
which of the things we did this year aligns right. with that package. That here's coincided that. with here's what that. And package. actually, it's a much cleaner message which you're proposing yeah. of just yeah. here's what we did. Here's what we did. Well, that's what so she asked. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So I think and, that's And, very and so I think reasonable. there's a separate conversation we should have if we look at this and we say, boy, this is one of the planning documents or parts of this that seems inappropriate. As we look at in the light of the day with rubber meets a road of like right down, if it doesn't feel right, who's the, who's the body to give feedback to to say, well, I'm really concerned about this piece where we're saying we're disclosing and testing for homeowners. As a current board member, when I look at how upset people were about things like cesspools and other parts, like saying, you have new data about your water. We're now making that so that that's public. If you have a home that's affected by general chemical, like I would want to know that for buying it. But that's not the duty of the town of Sherburne to impose on somebody else, independent of their regulatory structure. Mm -hmm. And we don't have a regulation that says that's a requirement, so I don't know that we can impose it just Right, and it's such a complex thing to be pulled into who actually caused the contamination if it's right. found. And I think for... And how does that get resolved so we're opening a can of worms with no solutions? But I do think cases. saying, boy, if one of the core goals of the town of Sherburne is to say, we want to have a database that does these things, well, that will certainly require a set of resources, so we should also say, you know, advisor, is that one of the things you'd recommend we be getting a quote on? Let's quote it out and say, here's what it is. There are other things that would be nice. What is it to digitize our plans? Right. Great. Like, those are the pieces. If we've got resources to do it, certainly happy to. But I, it's, you know, the some of this that you sort of picture, this could be many thousands of dollars to do. Oh, yeah. You know, is this a place that the town wants to spend 10 grand? If it's not, don't see how we're going to do it. And I also think, like, obviously, I hope that by staying focused on the point, it will help a lot because we'll get stay focused but the, I also think that in general I don't know what the answer to this is it would be useful if we could sort of address systemically the, what I perceive as a perception problem which is basically our goal is to protect property but I don't, I don't think we can change not, perception like I, I think we have no control over people's perception of us I think we can say what's our duty and how do we satisfy that duty but the people who don't listen or disagree with the framing aren't going to do it because we express our opinion in another way, because I think they believe we're fundamentally different. Like, I think the people who say, oh, no, we should totally be able to do X, Y, or Z, believe that it's effective. I have a different set of beliefs. They can totally run for Board of Health. They can say, this is my narrative. The town of Sherburne can decide. That's the process. It's not to say, boy, here's my truth. You should really listen to it, because I think the people who dismiss it We'll still dismiss it. And so I think we should just take the pressure off ourselves to say we have very little control over whether we change somebody's mind. No, I'm not trying to change anyone's mind. But maybe with education, we can expand their understanding. Yeah. So just to let you know, luck. on the, um, <laughs> the recent 40B applications, uh, I did field a question from somebody that was basically, so did the Board of Health oppose the project? And I said, we don't, we don't, we don't support or nor oppose mm -hmm. projects. Mm -hmm. We review yeah. them for whether they're going to provide appropriate quality of water and septic service and not affect their neighbors negatively, and that's what we're doing. And what we evaluate, so it's not a we're against this project. Right. So. Right. And did they see our letter? I don't know. <laughs> they got it. <coughs> did they? Uh, the selectman? No. I mean. Oh. Or I think she meant just that person. Yeah. yeah. So. Oh, oh, oh. They can now because it's, you know, we've submitted Public. it. Public. Yeah. So. so um, okay. So we have a minute. Hmm. I don't see anything short here. <laughs> so, okay, so Paul, uh, are you here to discuss the 42 North Main? 24 North Main? Sorry, I knew 42 yeah. didn't sound right. And is uh, Mr. Labarski coming? Because he's listed no. on the agenda. He's oh, not. He's not. Oh, I did not know that. I don't know what that means, huh? but that's fine. Yeah. 
Oh, he felt he should. Huh? Okay. That he's still well, a property he owner and uh, whatever, but okay. Um, yeah. Sure. You can okay. sit unless you want to stand. You don't have anything. No, no, really no big diagrams or maps or no, anything. No, nothing so. new. Um, All right. Just hoping that the um, board has enough information to decide whether the um, plan can be altered in accordance with that proposed grease trap that I show in the revised plan. And that um, this is the plan to convert the, no, the building to a, a cafe. It. This is a cool. Okay. I would say, like, I don't know that the plan for the cafe can go for it unless we can say that it's less than 440 gallons. Is there details on the plan that allow us to reach that determination? I believe so, yeah. Mark, is that your assessment? Well, as well? how many seats are you planning, Paul, and what's the rest of the house uh, being used for? Um, and are there any outside seats? So no, no, there were no outside seats. Sorry. Uh, I just want to back up for yeah. one second. Um, and I wanted to reread Claire's letter to us, but or email to us. Is the um, mm -hmm. I'm just showing David. It's designed for residential, not commercial. Right. The and grease tank was overlaid onto a residential design flow for the septic plan. It's not showing. Um, the use cafe. of this facility as a cafe. Yeah. Right. Also, I thought in Claire's email she mentioned something about no change of use, and wouldn't this constitute a change of yes, use? Yes, so it would. Is that not the first step? If we were looking at it in the yeah. absence of anything else, which is a four-bedroom house, it would as be as 440. Yeah. But then that begs the question of why would you need a grease trap for a residence? Yes. So to me, it seems like the change of use is the starting point for the discussion. Does that make sense? Yes. Not whether the grease trap is okay. Can, can I just ask? A, so looking at looking at Claire's text, it looks like that line I think is the system was upgraded to accommodate the then existing four bedroom dwelling. The upgrade included an alternative technology approved for remedial use, which does not permit the use of technology for new construction or any increase in flow. Right. And so I don't know that it's not. New use. I think it's new construction. New construction. Yeah, I didn't flow. read it. I so read it the same way you did. So I think it's it can be okay. 440. It could right. be expanded. That's that. 440. Right. Period. Okay. And right. and so, yeah, that's what. So I didn't follow that, but basically, Claire's yeah, email of April the 10th. Nope. We got on January 14th. January 14th. Did has he not seen it? Has Paul seen her, it? Her latest email is April 10th. That's incorrect. No. The latest email is January 14th, 325. We, we got one yesterday. Oh, okay. I haven't seen that. Yep. Okay. And so in that in that text, what Claire says is that we're sort of asked for the update in terms of the various pieces of noncompliance that have followed this property through multiple owners. And so ask for clarification from Claire as we talked about the last time we met with you to say what's the status of the property and what's permissible. And so she sent us, I think, a pretty thorough email, one comment of which is a question that Daryl raised, which was, in the setting of the, the uh, alternative technology for remedial use, no new construction, no increase in flow, so there's a ceiling of 440. I think the other thing that's planned pertinent is compliance entails that the connected design flow of the facility is limited to 440 gallons per day. This calculation must take into account all three floors of the facility as well as any outdoor uses such as outdoor seating for a coffee shop or the like. Any space is planned to be converted to storage must be used as exactly that. So I think that in terms of defining what we're using, we need to say, how do we account for all three floors of the home? How do we ensure that they're not used for non-permissible spaces given the history of the property having non-permissible patterns of use? And so that seems like the question that's most pertinent, although a change of use sounds like it's permissible, yeah. as long as the volume is limited. And and they, right. they specified things like if you were going to use the second and third floors for storage, like literally blocking off the staircase, locking, Just that it, can't blocking be it so that no none of well, the yeah. people. Well, um, if they use it for storage, they have to access it. No, well, they, they can, but yeah. they, so right. that people who are right. in the coffee they can't shop like, Oh, no, this is an office to. space, or hey, here's yeah. a meeting room. Yeah, no, like These nothing. are all these separate things. Like, I think it so, needs to be clearly defined. Right. So basically only the owner no can access it for storage. So, so wouldn't that be specified in the in the building occupancy permit? or? Well, it should be specified on the septic plan. Yeah. The septic plan it was only updated with the grease interceptor right. outside, but it should also indicate under design criteria what the building is going to be used for. 
Okay. To sort of arrive at this is an appropriately site because otherwise you'd be essentially approving a plan with no pattern of use, right? Like you'd say, here's the plan. Right now <coughs> it's being designed as Daryl said earlier, residential with a large grease interceptor. That doesn't sound like the intended pattern of use. Okay. And then there was something about that it could be limited to 12 seats. I think that's using the title. I think the 12 seats is 35 gallons per seat mm -hmm. for a restaurant. Mm -hmm. and so I think that's the 12, it's like 12 and a quarter or something, right? Right. Yeah. They're looking at maxing out at 440. And right. That, right. That would be 35, exactly that, 35 gallons right. per seat. Right. So you're at 420 with 12 seats, and that's right. all they could have right. under this design floor. And that, and that would right. be the total use of the building would be 12 seats. Exactly. And that right. includes any outside seating. Is, isn't there another design floor that's possible at 20 gallons a day per seat? She's Only saying. if it's 100 percent disposable. Right. right. Which is not very green, but. Right. So and he, he can propose that certainly, can't he? Well, you could propose it. The board will look at it and yeah. make a determination. Okay. So, so you'd like the plan showing the proposed use of the cafe, the number of seats? And, and therefore the, the design flaw. And any other use on the other floors has to be defined. Right. But if, if he designates them as storage. No, he doesn't need, I mean, he needs to not designate. Like it has to, to be more than storage. designation. I'm concerned that lots yeah. of stuff on this property <laughs> has been designated over time and then used yeah. for something different, which is the problem going back through multiple owners. That I think, like I'm concerned about, we designated this. We had a plan that came from the applicant that designated as a various number of bedroom counts. And then you look at the plan, and you're like, that's not the right number. Okay. I don't want, like I want this to be explicitly, this is the plan. Right. This is what we'll do. You know, this isn't going to move. But hopefully this this applicant is innocent until proven guilty. No, no, but like no, this applicant proven guilty. It, it, like, it has nothing to do with who it is. It, no, no, for me, with for, what me the, it is. for me, the concern is, exactly. I'm concerned if we say he'll designate it as this. I want to be very explicit to say this isn't a designation problem. This is this a use a, problem. Right. So he needs to designate it, and he needs to use it. And that would be true for any applicant on this property okay. or any other property. I think with a history where we're saying the state is saying these are the pieces that have been an issue, these are the expectations. I want to make sure that's really clear that this isn't just, no, no, we labeled it storage. Well, I mean, they put a table in there. I mean, yeah, they're using it for meetings. Yeah, this, no, like it really has to be storage, storage. Right, and and I mean, Claire was recommending and she indicated she discussed this with you as well, that if you're gonna use the second and third floor storage, it literally has to completely block off access to those floors for any of the general public right. and windows as well. Like zero access can't be open, can't be leased out. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's okay. like you're saying. Will I be able to get a copy of this oh, later? Of course. Okay. The restaurant design flow is 35 gallons per seat, minimum 150, but the major issue is if it gets defined as 20 gallons per seat, that would be a fast food restaurant. Right. So that's going to be questionable. It's, they said it's, it's fast, fast food. food if you dispose of everything that the food is served on. So literally Paper no dishes, plastic, no cups, utensils. no, yeah, no dishes. certainly hope not plastic, but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but well, what's the Sherburn's designation? I mean, the, uh, the, gonna, not the sandwich shop, excuse me. Um, no, that goes back about yeah, 20 years. Just well, they didn't have a lot of seats either. Oh, they didn't have any seats. Yeah, they didn't have any seats. Sandwich shop. No, they did. Sandwich shop. Oh, they had yeah. Seats. yeah, they I'm did. Thinking, they I'm had seats, of, but I'm they sorry. didn't have a lot of seats. I was just curious yeah. what their designation yeah. is. I'm thinking of the, I was in a different place. Not I was the at the Heritage Inn yeah, when that could designate it. Yeah. That was a liquor store more than a. Mm -hmm. so. Um, yeah, so it would have to be 100% disposables, which will have different cost implications, too, so. So in terms of the next steps, it sounds like one is for Ellen to provide a copy of Claire's communication to Paul. In terms of defining it, it sounds like our goals are to define, to sort of have from the applicant clear guidance about this is the plan of use. I think the question for that is to confirm that the 440 gallons per day that we're approving for it is compatible with the intended use of the space. It sounds like we also need to have that reflect a commercial. Mark, can you clarify what you were talking about with the commercial versus re residential plan? Yeah, right now it says residential on it okay. in the design criteria on the. And so we need to itself. update the design criteria to reflect the plan. To reflect exactly okay. what's being proposed. Okay, um, there was one other thing Claire made a point of in her letter was the fact that once it's commercial, the well that serves it is designated as commercial and should, um, therefore, it's considered as a public water supply um, and may be subject to 
additional monitoring? Have you folks considered any of those requirements? That would be the state DEP. Yeah, that would make that's that a state decision. level regulation. So this, so you're not concerned with that. Well, we I think go we'd say to we leave we that have, to the don't state. have authority over that. That becomes the state will deliver a monitoring um, okay. so, schedule to them. They will have right. to comply, get certified labs, submit reports. But, it, but I think your question is, like, do we have another overlay of Sherburn pieces related to the well? And I think the answer is no. I think okay. we'd say that's the same. Right. Does okay. that answer? Good. Yes, thank you. Uh, so I think something that we could consider, too, for this, again, given the history of the property, is when the food inspector goes to inspect, uh, part of the inspection could include going up and making sure that it's only storage on the upper floor, so we'd have to have access uh, to those floors. I'm a little bit leery of that. Just um, I share the concern with mine to make sure that the use is there. I feel like what we ask of the food inspector should be the same thing we would ask with any property with any history, because it's... Okay, the food inspector has, for other things, uh, such as events at Barnes, had to, <coughs> has helped identify right. what's the status of the... I think if it's consistent with what we've done. Washing facilities, and then as necessary, Mark and the food inspector have been there together to work on things. This one is simpler, it involves septic in a sense, Yeah. but it's the only requirement that the food inspector would have would be just to observe that no one is living upstairs uh, I was, in the storage There is areas. another really? opportunity. So. We check a house if it's being designed for no garbage grinder at the very end to make sure there isn't one. Uh, on, and we require a deed recording. Uh, we also require deed recordings on bedroom restrictions. Right, that's what I was wondering. And I was thinking a deed restriction would be an excellent tool to for the use second for the, the purpose of whatever the mm. change is requested as part of the approval. Right, that's a good idea. Yeah, I, I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. Right, that, including that, the non-use of the second and third floor. Right, just yes, saying that, that it's going to be a limited use to storage and, and will not be well, leased out for any well, other Well, I'd say, like, it could be other things, right? Like, yeah. you could say, I've got four seats in the restaurant, and I've got, you know, the other, what, 200, would that be 280? Right, like, we're saying, you if you've got 12 in. seats, you don't have any water for any, like, you don't have any septic capacity. But if you had six seats, you'd have 220 gallons a day that could be allocated. But, it, but it's, it's, I mean, he's, you're going to provide us a plan that says right. this is what we're right. proposing, and we'll go off of that. Right. But I don't think we're going to make a decision now exactly. until we see the plan, Paul. Yeah, but, but I, I mean, this Matt's says, just saying there's a possibility like, of a but mixed I use. I, I want it to be under 440, just make it whatever, work. The, whatever the yeah. break-in is. Make it like, work. if you yeah. use a second yeah. floor for a space that has I water agree. flow that's compliant, yeah. great. I don't, I'm not it's, invested. It's performance-based. Right. We're not exactly. trying to be prescriptive. Yep. Exactly. So. And it Again, as far as this says that it's not in violation now because it's not occupied, so right. we're starting over. Right. And again, so we have a new, a new owner, so there really is no history mm -hmm. with this building now because it's a new owner. This is a new owner. Oh, it's already been sold. Well, it's Gary versus Gary is the new owner versus Igor. None of these enforcement orders were when he owned it. Uh, yes, they were in effect when he bought it Purchased several it years ago. Oh, well, yeah, no, I understand yeah. they were in effect. Yeah. In Title and, five and then became his responsibility as right. Claire describes that. Yeah. It? But the, the issues that were created were actually before he bought it. No, that's not accurate. Like, the pattern of use for the day spa was way in, like, there weren't the appropriate inspections oh, that, that right? the train. Okay. Yeah. And then the day spa was also significantly out of compliance, oh. which then yeah. when that was escalated was then when the day spa oh, I see. closed. But I'd say I think the intention is for this owner or a future owner to be able to say, you've got 440 gallons to work with. I don't think it's our intent to make it difficult, but it's our intent to make sure we're compliant with the state and to provide clear guidance, because it's subtle. And, from, and so I think that's certainly the intention. But whether or not it was the same owner or a different owner, I think the intention is to say it's in compliance now. We just want to paint a really clean picture of this is what compliance looks like to us. And, and to that end, I think having the owner describe exactly what's going to be there I don't want it to be so fluid that it's hard to keep track of. Right. Now it's six seats, now it's 12 seats, because you know and things are changing and moving just around. Really clear, shared what is it going to be? And then if you want to change, come back. And All right, good, thank you. Work on good. That. Um, so. While I'm here, I, I just got a copy of a, a negative determination from conservation regarding 157 farm. I don't know if we so the, Add so things now to the agenda. conservation no. is ruled on it. It's not on your agenda tonight. No, it, it, that was that proposed it has bill. to be on the agenda unless it's an emergency. So okay. if it's not on the agenda, it wouldn't can, be up for can we, can we But we can put it on the next agenda. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
what for what is this? The well, I want well to oh, for approval. Farm. So I guess for I don't have that yet. So, so Do for I? the I thought I gave you the five copies. No, I'll check. No, no, no. The yeah, conservation. Oh, well, I just got it today. You got it today. Yeah. Okay. okay. So do we want to put it on for the February 5th yeah, okay. agenda? Yeah. I've suggested to see what the status yeah. is. Okay. I mean, to be confirmed once you get the yeah. information. Yeah. The yeah. So. Well, once Mark gets the, the It's dated January approval. 6th. Okay. I'll have to check. I don't know. We'll... We'll, we'll check we'll and see it, if yeah. it's been received, and once the file's full, you'll let me know to put it on the agenda. Yep. Exactly. That's how it works. Pretty much. Okay. okay. Do we want to All put right, it? Thank you for your time. So I guess my question, though, just for to make to make sure expectations are clear, do we anticipate that being able to be discussed at the February fifth agenda in terms of the? File I don't being complete? see an issue as long as I sent Paul the information on what the board was requiring, and. Um, you know, as long as the plan's ready for the board to see what those so, requirements that were in our minutes. Are you, oh, which job are you speaking uh, to? Uh, no, I'm, so I'm speaking about the, whatever CONCOM did, the negative determination, are we saying that's February 5th will be, I we think the file? once they check the files and make sure everything's mm -hmm. truly yeah. in order and ready, then, then we can we'll add it. Place yeah. it on yeah. okay. the normal routine. Okay. Yeah. okay. Um, going back to this matter, so the plans need some updating. There needs to be more specificity about what's wanted. And then based on that, deed recording accordingly. I think so. That sounds yes. right. So. Okay. All right, great. Okay. All right, thank you very much. Good night. Thank, thank you. Okie dokie. What topic are you here for? I'm not on your agenda, but I'm confused. I was hopeful I left a message from Mark. He did call me when I was at a meeting down in Natick, and he didn't get the call back before he headed into here. I, I have a circumstance that just when I go to the right It's not an emergency. It shouldn't be on the agenda. Yeah. It should be dealing with us. Uh, just so well, the board knows, he's been referred to agent? a well driller. Yeah. Oh. He, I already referred him to a well driller to talk to a well expert on resolving an issue related to 59 North Main. It shouldn't be on the agenda. It's not on the agenda. Yeah, we can, we are under strict rules not I, to. I already spoke to them and, and they recommend it, and I just feel like it's going to be put on the agent, and I don't want to do that. But if I was going to go back to the board, it will. I'll bring it back to the board if need I, be. I just, this is my affordable unit, and I feel very badly because I'm afraid she may lose her finances. But what I'd say is, like, we can't not do something with an open meeting law, yeah. right? Because somebody else could say, boy, why wasn't that on the agenda? Yeah. And you'd say, well, because he said it was a really, like, we're stuck by needing to be compliant with the regs. And, frankly, even if we had known yesterday, it would have helped. I know, I know. Believe me, I, 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 <coughs> I just, So. Okay. Just, yeah. yeah. Sorry, but. Carol, uh, before we start the next item, Mark and I are confused. Is Igor Leibarsky, the same, same as Gary. Same. Yeah. as Gary. Yeah. 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 Gary's one his person. American. Yeah. Okay. Gary's so he owns his American. He owns yeah. the he yes. owned the oh. day spa. Right. Yes. Oh. That's, that's what yeah. It so I didn't like, understand why I only he was knew saying him as like Gary. I, I think he was just confused about Igor. where did the condition. I think okay. it was oh, the ACO. Pa, I think yeah. I think Paul just misunderstood. Yeah. Like I think he was thinking of 2006, not that the transfer of property represented a continued violation. So do we want to do something easy like general chemical? Well, and also, if you take over a property and there are outstanding issues, you are responsible. Yep. So I think that is the part. Okay, so general chemical. You know, I, I can I just say something? I don't understand why Chris didn't send me the proposed well sampling schedule, since he and I were the ones who were having discourse about which wells to sample, had a conversation. Oh, really? We, I, I connected him with Ellen so that we could get the phone numbers, and then this January 13th email, I never got this. This, all, this went to like you and Ethan, and, you know. It's because I asked for it after being but he, at the meeting. But he knew, that I said very specifically that, that I was going to be the liaison for oh, the, he from the Board of Health, that. and we had a whole conversation about it. <laughs> Actually, I think I have an email. So. So no, we, need, even, we need to correct that going okay. forward. So um, I will. So I, a, I, had, I think that it's not Dave was, no, it was the first time I had met him, so I did yeah. not uh, yeah. know what had gone on previously. So I was going to okay. pull up some of my notes. Um, 
let's see. So I went to the meeting, although I was not able to get there right at the start, but I was there for most of it. And let's see. So I think a lot of this stuff might be moot if they're doing the schedule that Chris proposed because they said they were doing sampling today and they're doing sampling Friday. Uh, yes, they did do sampling today. But there was, uh, confusion about when things are being done. So, um, or who was going to have responsibility. The, the short of it is that they're taking the money that they have, roughly the 1.8. They're doing the thermal treatment. I guess it's going to be at a lower temperature than yeah, what had been discussed previously. They are zooming in on two, two. areas that they feel are the um, both uh, most concentrated pockets, biggest pockets. They're also the most upgradient, so if they do the cleanup, it won't be recontaminated by the movement, um, which is an acknowledgement that things are moving, but anyway. Um, and if everything goes to plan, uh, then they expect to be able to eliminate 40% of the volatiles that are present. Is it, was that Which by is volume also saying or by, did, that wasn't they didn't clear specify. to me, okay. um, and I didn't ask because I didn't know if that had been discussed before I arrived. Um, of course, that 60% is not addressed, is one thing. And then there were a few questions that went on later about, well, does it really address PFAS? And they didn't think so, um, but they felt that that was minor compared to the other. Uh, I, would, I would actually agree with that I, I mean, in terms of primary contamination right. and the levels that have been found and the prevalence. I mean, it's yeah. the VOC I mean, the, for that, you know, definitely. So, um, so that's, that's kind of the main thing. Then somebody asked if they had any money left over, would they keep doing more work? And they said, of course. Uh, so then I asked about the corollary if if it doesn't go as planned <laughs> yeah. and then it what? doesn't complete, does the cleanup only go as far as the money lasts? Then the answer to that was yes. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, the heating dynamics aren't what they expect or who knows. So, so it's a little iffy as to uh, where it will end up, but their current estimation is on that 40%. And again, by weight, volume, I don't know. Um, and what? So they were saying, and, and I just uh, was reviewing a thermal treatment we did for chlorinated at a, a site, really large, really complicated site. So the good news is that that heat does dissipate and migrate, which does enhance even down gradient mm -hmm. degradation. But, but since they're only going to 90, which is significantly lower than the project we just did, I don't really know how much of a change in the water temperature we're really gonna see down gradient. So it will happen, but everything's gonna be everything's gonna be scaled back and much more modest than if they had implemented the remedy that they originally had discussed and designed. And there was a little. What makes, I mean, forget the forget the totally late question. Like, what makes them do one over the other? Is it just your, money? It's just cheaper. Yeah. To so, make it look, so if you heat it to only ninety versus a hundred and twenty, it's le you know less energy, less time, less you know fewer wires. So, it's just a smaller scale, basically. Ninety F or C. It's, it's F. Well, that's not much. No. <laughs> I, th I thought it would be C, which would, uh, uh, 90F, it's not going to do a lot. But I think it was 90F. It just says 90 degrees, so I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I think yeah. it was Fahrenheit. Yeah. Unless they said something otherwise. I don't. Well, they talk about well, actually, maybe oiling it is off oil. That's not going to happen at 90F. So. 
Yeah. Right, and right now they're planning not, they don't want to volatilize they're the not oils getting the oils. because they yeah. feel it will clog up the filters. So right. it's only going to be VOCs, not, and only maybe a subset of VOCs. Forty percent of the mass of the VOCs, leaving sixty percent behind. Well, they didn't say mass. They didn't say volume. They just no, said 40%. No, it says 40% yeah, of they the mass I think of contamination. Verbally, right. I assume that means kilograms, right? Not yeah. liters. So, um, well, makes for yeah. It's in the it's in the saturated soil is what they're heating. So, they did feel that the warming effect um, on the soil is good for bioremediation, encouraging it, it, it would encourage it. It's it's bioenhancement. Yeah, because they they're not. They're not going to. Well, they're not, they're not putting injecting. like substrate or bugs the in the ground. Are around they're are just gonna whatever's more there active. is there. Like yeah. yeah, it's a catalyst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, and the way it works is they capture the vapors as they escape and then run them through a filtration system. They don't just vent it to the air. They, I mean, they talk about filters, so I assume <laughs> that's what they, they were they planning. They should be using best available control technology, which would be some kind of carbon filter. Um, but they don't. I mean, there's no details. Doesn't in talk this about, about that. So I, no. Um, it's a remediation system, so they have an obligation to do okay, that. Okay. And so. they are next to an elementary school. Yeah, I, I'm yeah. well aware of that. I yeah. drive by there almost every day. So. Um, <laughs> The kids and their parents won't be happy if they're breathing in warmed up VOCs if the wind's blowing from the south. So yeah. they say that they're going to provide the details of this revised plan on EDP. I mean, on the Mass well, DP website. Uh, there was talk about where it about would, it. where the information it's would be, and was it available yet, parents, and are so. they still distributing to the libraries? But apparently, oil. yeah. Uh, not everything is at the Framingham Library at the moment. Um, so they'll have a meeting in February, it sounds like? Uh, they're trying to have a community meeting as soon as possible. They think likely February because they want to start in March. That's when it's currently slated to begin. They have to move the equipment on site, but they expect it to largely run unstaffed. Um, who, with remote monitoring. T who's TRS? Is that... That's the contractor? I don't, uh, I don't know. I haven't added I think I'm gonna have to, to read. Drew Smith of TRC <coughs> or TRC? No, no, no. Not, not So it's TRC. not the tracks then. This track set on too far away, but it wouldn't. No, be. it says Mass CP has selected TRS oh, to do the rent. Sounds rendering. like a contract. Yeah. yeah. I Okay, so then the, the other thing uh, that went on today and will be going on Friday is the sampling of residence wells uh, in the Meadowbrook area and um, at uh, Sweet Meadow Farm. It's a thermal contractor. Here is. Thermal remediation systems. Yep, but <laughs> it's in, it, they're from Was Longview, Washington. Wow. I was wondering, is that the firm who was considering purchasing the property Maybe. because they were in the business already and they wanted to buy it and then clean it up and do whatever? But I can't remember who it was. But it was a thermal remediation company. Uh, in any case, so they were talking about the sampling, um, the sampling as it was done in the past, which didn't seem to be according to proper protocol according to TRC and, and others who were overseeing that at the time. So Sherborne, folks in Sherborne have been talking about whether we would have someone observe the sampling and or also do our own sampling that had a different protocol that was one that seeks to maximize uh, detection of volatiles if they're present. Um, that means flushing out storage tanks in a home letting water run for longer so that you are getting getting the water before it's had a <coughs> chance to off gas and i haven't had a chance to read the protocol that was sent out they were talking about a three minute flushing yeah they're using this i thought i forwarded to you it's the epa quick guide to yeah i just water. haven't had time it's, uh, it's, it's pretty standard i don't actually think. And uh, how much flushing time does it call for? It's like three minutes. Okay. Which might be for ease because often if you're really trying to capture it, 
it's and I think that's why uh, TRC might have provided their protocol but usually you run until you hear um, pumps activated in the home and that sort of thing to know that you've got water or you sample from the well if that's possible so the question is and I didn't get a chance to speak more with uh, David Williams he was unavailable I tried reaching out to some other folks to talk about whether this is something that the town should do and how could we arrange for it quickly TRC is available to do that observation uh, it'll cost much, some money yeah and I mean we have some money in the budget I sent a message to advisory but haven't heard back saying we thought we were going to take the 3,000 that we had um, community so, projects and spend it on the sharps container but we could potentially apply that money wouldn't use all that what, what's the inadequacy of the tests that are being done I don't I don't think the protocol is I mean it's a tip it's an EPA standard protocol so I guess I'm it, as long as it's implemented correctly I don't have technical concerns with the protocol that they're proposing so to be honest that's not necessarily like I think if we wanted to do some split samples and have them analyzed by Alpha who's a great lab and you know I think that yeah I'm not so concerned that they're gonna falsify the no or, they're or using it's not falsified it's not about right. that I, I mean I don't think that this is um, an aberrant protocol I think it's a pretty standard drinking water protocol. I agree that it might be standard especially if it is the EPA yeah. protocol. <laughs> um, but if you really wanted to find whether there were VOCs that people could potentially be drinking after three household members have gotten up and showered and emptied the tank and now you're pulling water out of the well and it hasn't had a time to sit overnight in off gas so anyone that they sampled at 8 a.m. the water might not have run much you're getting the water that's already released the yeah but I mean and that's what you're ending up sampling for the most part so that's what the concern was of a number of of people who were there mm -hmm. um, I, I've never seen that based on the sampling I've done in indoor air and drinking water in homes like I you know they, their argument was that you just want to grab a typical sample so typical is going to be different at different times of the day but when I think of um, uh, way back when I used to sample monitoring wells um, you would purge the well before Different. you would take a sample I agree. I guess, I guess so my it's question similar. Is like if we did the testing and we were like here's the Sherburn testing and it's different what's the recourse um, I think if first of all they're never going to be exactly the same so there, it's it's really is it beyond the reproducibility that I would expect to see like so if they're within 10 15 percent of each other that's the same number I'm, right. I'm not worried right. about that mm -hmm. if we did some samples maybe using a slightly different protocol and we were finding things that were 50 percent or 100 percent higher than what they found then I would say okay well maybe for with these particular conditions with these kind of private wells maybe that protocol wasn't representative and but then if know. the money's gone and there's no more remediation from SDEP then if I'm a homeowner we're like we've spent the remediation money we've now tested my well in this other way See, there's a signal. whole other there's a whole other so that remediation money is to clean up the general chemical site there's other money that the DEP has that they can access mm -hmm. on if it's a critical um, health or imminent hazard situation so if we found a problem in someone's home it would be dealt with it'd be an imminent hazard yeah pathway. if it right. violated so a critical drinking water standard that would be the trigger for so them then, tapping so then into the, these so other then it's really a question of do we think that alterations in the protocol are likely to result in something that went from a, a not triggering result to a triggering result well and, and so there's there's two issues one is the way the regulations are written right now in Massachusetts there's something called a critical exposure pathway which states in the regs that if contaminants are detected not above drinking water standards but if they are detected 
it's you have to you have a two hour reporting obligation and it's called a critical exposure pathway which means you then have to assess it and if it's feasible to mitigate or eliminate that pathway through a point of entry treatment system or something then there's an obligation to do that and who does the obligation set with the homeowner well, or the state or it's the... i mean technically whoever potentially responsible part? parties would include the source initially but it can technically include an owner but in a case like this where there would be the only if not but for general chemical there would not be this contamination in the well i think it would come from us there's like i said the there's state a state fund. okay it's Remember, not a lot of money. General and I, Kimball's yeah. bankrupt. Well, no, exactly. Yeah. So there is no deep pocket. No. So so it would have to, I mean, MassDP could not permit someone to be consuming impacted water, and they know that it wasn't the homeowner that caused, like, So for us, it's really the question of if by spending this money we provide an added layer of resilience and testing that we think is reasonably likely to give a different result, it seems like it makes sense. If we say... We don't have the maximum degree of possible confidence, but we are applying a standard EPA protocol. I'm not totally sure it makes sense to say we're going to try to do something more than the EPA, unless we say, wait, it may not be our perceived best possible practice, but if it's a standard practice, it's hard to say that we... You know, I'm not how, sure how it's is, the best use right, of our money, right. is my question. So like, I, 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 I tend to agree with you that... Uh, the two things. We're f the, the test is following an established EPA protocol, and you have personal knowledge of the reputation of Alpha as being a good laboratory. I think no, that's who. That. That's who we we would use if we if Which we did we? it. We, the Board of Health and TRC. I don't know. Did they say they were going to do it themselves? Because oh. DP has their own. I app. didn't know. Oh, I, okay. I was confused. I thought Alpha was doing. No, the Alpha. Analysis. If we take the if we take the samples. Okay. All right. I get We it. would submit them. To so Alpha. we don't know who the lab is. I did that not come. I mean, I can ask Chris. If yeah. I, I would almost guarantee you that DP is going to. I think be I saw it. somewhere that, that DP is going to analyze it. They do it themselves. Yeah. State they lab. have a mobile lab. Yeah, they have a, a state lab. lab. Um, well, I know for the remediation, they were saying they were gonna. Then that, maybe that's what I well. said. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, it's not bad. I, they have really good chemists. I'm not. Uh, again, I'm not contending that they're gonna do a no, I, I, job. No, I, so. I'm agreeing. Yeah. yeah. So I guess I, it, so. It sounds like kind of everybody sort of not everybody's on the same page. I think their piece is where we wanted to discuss as a board. Do we feel like there's new value we're introducing by spending Sherburn resources on inflammatory testing? It sounds like, David, you're sort of taking. I don't think so. I, I don't see the logic for it. Rebecca, what are your thoughts? I, I agree. I mean, I think as long, unless there's a con concern about the technique or the facility that's doing the testing. I don't know, and maybe I don't know enough about so maybe it. Maybe a reasonable next step is if we can just confirm the testing pathway so we're confident that there's not something independent we're adding. Does that, like, Dara, what are your thoughts? So, I mean, I don't know enough, so I. The that's how I inquisitive side of me says I would like to know if handling the sample differently, because if you've ever taken a sample in a VOA vial, it's so important that you have the meniscus and you get that top on and you mm. make sure there's no air in there. So the idea that you're drawing a sample from something that was aerated for some amount of time, potentially, not definitely, but potentially, and not eliminating that potential doesn't make sense to me. So, but backing up, here's how I would see it playing out if we did this at all. We send somebody out to observe it doesn't have to be all of the Friday sampling, some amount of Friday sampling, just so they could say, yeah, they followed protocol. They should, but again, the prior time, it really didn't sound like they did. They sound like they've, you know, shortcut. corrected that now or plan to correct that, mm -hmm. but it just didn't seem like, based on the folks, I, I was not one of them who spoke to the samplers, that they did not do correct protocol. So there's a little bit of that. So that may be corrected, but do we want to confirm that as a town? Um, because a lot of the cleanup is going to be driven by, will it ever impact a drinking water supply? And if they keep concluding no, then 
But this may like not be not taken up in a certain no, way. That's so. actually not driving the cleanup, Daryl. All they're doing is doing the no, source area. That's what I'm saying. That's all they it's have the money not, for. It. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. But and they're currently going after um, PRPs, so they are doing that with some of the sister companies and the contributors. Yeah, it's going to be general chemical. Small. It's going to take a long time to deal with that. Um, so if we just had someone observe to confirm that it's being done appropriately, then two weeks later there are results that come back. We could see what it looks like. Does it already tell a story? Does it tell the same story as before? Yeah. Are there any things that don't make sense? And, so and also it gives us two weeks to c consult with some people, find out does anyone have any appetite for doing this at all? Just to check, they Come are Sherborne some... residents, do we want to offer some extra layer of something to them? And then sample a couple houses maybe, don't, don't do them all. Well, I, I really the think if, if like we they followed, like if we watch for two hours and like they followed the protocol yeah and right? then we get the data right. and if I, I would say if the like, data is really consistent with what we've seen in the past I I would feel pretty over. comfortable that it's and it's, if we said we're gonna ask somebody to spend two hours of time to do that the cost to town of Sherburn the is, two hours isn't gonna be right because like, I think we're just sort of saying we just want to say does this look right mm -hmm. looks right Great. Let's look at data. Does data make sense? Yes. Great. Done. No. I or is it a much. change? Can yeah. Does right. it look like things are changing right. from you know change condition? In which case we're, we're going to have another conversation. Um, but right. I, it's not going to impact the amount of money they have and the remedy they're proposing because they're going after Only the source area. Only if it, I, I understand that. Only if the worst case, drinking water standards have right. already been tripped. But then we have to say then that it's a whole. But then that's right. just that's a whole other. other right. Paradigm. So in terms of our next steps, what do we need to? If we say collectively, we've got no objections to spending a modest amount of money to just kind of say, let's answer the question. There's a question mark last time about was this process followed correctly. Don't know if it's true or not, but this time let's do everything we can say to make sure it's true. A couple hundred bucks. That's two done. hours right. observation. You know, a little bit more because we need somebody who knows what they're doing and who they have available is $180 an hour. And so 400 bucks. So, so like you that. could say, here's 400 bucks or whatever that sure. number is. Yeah. Do we need to talk to somebody to get the 400 bucks or can we reallocate? Well, that was the question because we, um, the town administrator was not sure who previously had the contract with TRC. He felt it was the Board of Health. I think but it, was it definitely yeah, wasn't it the was board not of the board. Yeah, it was a select, yeah. select right. board. So we're in this weird thing of he's been deferring and pushing it off to the board of health. But well, we have a select board representative yeah. right here. So. <coughs> but he was not on the board when yeah, but that was done. But so. Oh, I, I, we talked about this a little bit. I, mean, I haven't talked to Sharon first of all. Just see, she can tell you who the contracts were. Huh. She can also tell you if there's any remaining value in the contract. Right. I think you could do it in your um, budget. What's that? Kind of earmark for the Sharps program. I, I'm, I'm wondering if this would, in addition to sort of giving you a better clue about the testing, it would make the Sherburne residents feel better that were being sampled, that the Board of Health was there, was present. Some ways I do is possibly community outreach also. Uh, but I think even like it's a place where I think there's lots of times people want us to have oversight. We're like, I don't have a regulatory footprint here. I think this is a place where we don't have a regulatory requirement, but if there's right. a set of resources to say, we just want to do our best to turn question marks into periods, at least to say the protocols follow. I think for me it gets trickier if we say we're gonna come up with our own protocol outside of the EPA. That part feels trickier, and so I think and maybe unnecessary. Say, if the results are consistent, the likelihood of this being yeah. revealing of new information is feels pretty low. Yeah. Doesn't mean a homeowner couldn't test if they wanted to, right? Like they always I, can. Right. Like if I'm Johnny homeowner, I could say we're running it dry and then we're testing it. Like I could do that. Sure. Yeah. And so I did that. Yeah. Did you? How'd it look? I ran a twenty four hour water test before I bought my house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so I think that, so that feels like a balance of, of kind of oversight. And <coughs> strain, which feels like we'd have time to see <coughs> results. 
evaluate. Find out right. from other people in town what's their sentiment about this kind of involvement, yay or nay. Maybe dig a little deeper into, has anyone ever applied these I, other I, protocols? I, I, no, I think it's, I mean, my two cents is, I think it's okay to manage the scope to say, we've got so many different things we need to do. Like, I think there's a ton of stuff we could do, but I don't want to set people up with the expectation, hey, we'll do this, because I'm not sure that any of us have the bandwidth to say, here's a new book of business that we're gonna take on and say, we'll do this for you. I think for us, it's to say, here's the oversight to make sure, does this seem on track? We can, I mean, we help us on the contract. Yeah. No, and, and I it, yeah. feel like we should, given the last time to be dissatisfied afterwards, and now we have an right. opportunity to, to be, do it up right. front. So if we, if, so. if we have that level of observation, oversight has a legal implication. Sorry, so observation, I mean, yes. Um, that, um, uh, then when we get the data, we can have the confidence that we uh, Just followed the are understanding that the protocol yeah. was followed. So then I can evaluate the data and relay it to the board and we can do an analysis of trends and consistency mm -hmm. yeah. and decide if we need to take any additional steps. I think steps. that makes a ton of sense. Okay. Ellen, can we charge you with, so who um, is it? It's Sharon? Sharon? Yeah, I can check with Sharon. Sharon. You're just going to say who yeah. is a TRC contract with? Yeah. And if it was us, it's huh, not who us. Knew? No, and it's then, not right. us. Right, but I think it sounds like it's a private so like, Yeah, I know it's and not. Us. We need to and is any there kind more money? Transfer. And if there mm. isn't more money, then do we need to authorize a transfer tonight if we want from the sharps? Um, from, well, from since we expand, no, yes. No, you you you, you, just you don't have to because it's all <clears throat> excuse me, it's all in the expense line. Yeah. Okay. So it'll just get perfect. So as long we do need so to reallocate. Money's money. We're able to it, do that. You can do that without. Okay. But we okay. should vote on whether we want to spend the money yeah. and, you know, talk to TRC and see when they can go. So are we confident, though, and that... we have a cap on how I much I was going to say, like, keep it under spend. $500. Yes. That's going to be tough, because don't they have it? Oh, that's it's an like hour. every hour? <laughs> yeah, that's an hour, so you're not going to get too much. No, I thought you said <laughs> it was 180. Yeah, 180. No, but uh, wasn't it on the hour that they would go to a new house that's so only... Yeah, two houses. houses is that which might be fine i i just, I, I I just think clear. representative and if, if i were gonna go i'd go one of, the middle, one of the middle houses yeah like don't go at the beginning don't go at the end just well they've already third. it huh? doesn't matter now they've already done half of it so no i mean on that particular day when is the next cycle of testing? friday friday so it's very soon. so i can i uh let me check i'm pretty sure there's nothing on friday right now Oh, are you going to go here? <laughs> well, I'm volunteering if because I know yeah. you guys all have they, jobs. Yeah, no. I don't. If you want to go, I, yeah. I can send you the protocol. I, I have nothing on Friday right now. So. Oh, mm -hmm. so if you want to cruise around and observe? Yeah, I can do that. I'll forward you the protocol. Okay. Um, and and the contact stuff is that any? I mean, who to call to meet them wherever. I'll, I'll just forward you. Just Chris send me all Myers. the junk. So uh, I don't have. I mean, some of it's printed. I remember I didn't get it, but I can give you Chris Pyatt's email. And I thought, you can email I thought there him. was a schedule here somewhere. Yeah, there is. Uh, the address is. Right here. Thank you, David. Okay, so um, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So I got it. Okay. Great. All right. See, the um, person I need to contact to coordinate with the, you're sending to me? Uh, yeah, it's okay. Chris Pia. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And Oops. then you'd be meeting Change. with Are you almost whoever needed? TRC sends. And so do we need a motion to authorize expenditure of up to $500 with TRC? That's if not they're not already he covered goes out by the field. Uh, <laughs> the, yeah, right, exactly. Okay. So move. Please. Great. All right. Second. Yep. Yeah. Thanks. Yep. Second. Any second? Yeah. yeah. We're seconded. So, any other comments? Any other conditions we want to put on it, or just just the 500 cap? And all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thanks. Um. You're gonna send me something about the protocol. I just sent it. You, you. Okay. All right. Well, Done. We'll see. <laughs> so, David, do you yet. also want to contact? After Ellen finds out if uh, if there's not already a contract with TRC, then would you want to contact them and sure, Ellen, just send me whatever you find out, and I'll follow yeah. up as needed. Okay. 
what five hundred dollars okay. worth of yeah. time they can come during the day and if they're preferred homes if they could look at the old data Wait, and see I, if there are homes they would really I I prefer to be well, at. this is the second half of the testing's friday so we're not going to be able to get any of this lined up in time right oh, that's uh they they know that the town is interested in doing something they were prepared to come out today but we had no money to pay them so now we have five hundred dollars yes okay All right. okay i don't know why it's 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 like Hopefully they're not charging a lot for travel time because otherwise that'll give them 35 right. minutes on the site. So. Then you're like, great, you watch a protocol at one house. <laughs> did, it, did it not go through? All right, what address are you using? My BOH address? Yeah, let, let me send it. It's not, it's, it's like a circle and it just keeps. I haven't got any new emails. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. let me, uh... They don't have files. <laughs> Do you have another email? I have lots of emails. <laughs> Which one would you like? I'll write down the one that works so the best. How's it? I think it's more that this. Hmm? 2021 20, budget meeting with advisory. Do we have anything outstanding to work on on that, on the budget? No, no, like other than February 12th. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, meet with advisory. They. Yeah. Do we have a time for that yet? No, they don't give a time. Oh, Those that's are. right. This is the come stay all yeah. night. Oh, they will? Oh, all right. Okay. Yay. Perfect. So. And check that box. Okay. Here you go. That one, that one works. Yeah, yeah, that's what we have. We're like third. Yeah. No. Okay. But how long? I don't know. Well, that's better. We've been last. In yeah, the past we're not last. So he's we're not last. <laughs> do we want to do follow up on comments to selectmen? Uh, yeah. Oh, so one thing I. So the letter from the select board is going to go out Friday? Friday, yeah. Okay. And what are they planning? I'm executive summary right now. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> are they planning to attach everyone's comments in I full? I don't understand where am I? I'm okay. I'm good. Okay. The question is, just as an extra precaution, does this board care about just emailing in our comments to I, I think Mass a, Housing? Just I feel, to I, think I feel confident a, I think in the select board. I, mean, I worry a little bit about it's here's good. parallel streams coming. Like I'd sort of rather have it come as a packet, but I don't know how the select. I mean, that was my impression for select board is under yeah. one cover. It says. I forwarded it to you. Okay, well, let's see if anything but shows. But it's just like, see, it's like a circle and it yeah. just keeps rotating. Then that was my take on the conversation for the last two be select board meetings, but it yeah. felt better big to say this is Town of Sherburne's communication to Mass Housing. Let me forward it to it seemed like the intent that came out. Address yeah, and I don't think it work. would necessarily take away. I just want to know what the internet goes down in town hall <laughs> something you know whatever just whatever weird little forever. thing do we care or do we want to sink or swim with it but i would say I, I think if the rest of town like i think we are one part of many parts of the conversation mm -hmm. speaking to the project and its strengths and limitations and so i think that like if everything else collapsed and board of health letter win i don't think mass housing would like so much be like yeah. no <laughs> and so i would really? say yeah. <laughs> right. we're kind of counting yeah. on that <laughs> and, right so i sort of feel like it's okay to say i mean my impression was people seem like Thank you. Really. As long as our comments are in writing to the I don't know. Yep. I think our they comments. understand really our comments. comments. I think no. I think our letter will be included in the communication. Yeah. To in Matt its entirety, Housing. is the plan. Yes. Everybody's comments, or is the select board? Jeff is doing the Could select do board and executive home, summary. Right? Excerpting for just. I'm not going to read it Jeff right now. <laughs> I'll yes. read it tomorrow morning. For first thing that okay. after I get. Awake yes, enough to do that, it. So. Uh, 
Right. Just, I don't okay. So really, you don't have to do it tonight. You can do it tomorrow morning because I wouldn't. Cause I, I won't even start looking at stuff. Yes, I know it was only in case. Okay. That would be. So I think that the, I think the comments. <laughs> what I would say is like. So I attended the select board meeting, and I think oh, there was okay. great eagerness. I think there was repeatedly stated there's content that ConCom and Board of Health put in that we think it's was excellent, helpful, and should be represented in this place. Yet. Well, I turned so off I, the Wi-Fi. I take on hearing it in the. Well, you might not be able to get to the Unless cell the tower through. I don't. Know. This is the documents that are currently in the attachment. I may change a little bit. You guys are uh, under three. Uh, okay, since they're doing that. Looks so like oh, town right? departments. Yeah, yeah three. So okay. you can scroll down if you want to. to but it's 52 pages. 52 pages. Oh, okay. Has KB right. Law has no, but I think like okay. I, 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 nobody was doing this as the abridged version. Our I think okay. everybody's saying, here's the piece Our that we want to hit the highlights well, and say, here's the yes, Cliff Notes version. I think that sort of piece. Everything else. But, okay. but, but my so take on the conversation kind of support board is like it felt. Um, as an like multiple times people said, I think there's really good content in these two letters. It's not yet in this okay. document. Okay. That's when they print things so for us to do in advance of the final yes. version. Okay. So yours is tomorrow as soon as possible. Yep. Can they send yep. someone okay. out so. write it? Well, or is Dara, are you asking, who's going to talk to TRC? David is or you? Uh, or, uh, I was hoping David. To okay. I thought that was what I was supposed okay, to do. Okay, okay, yeah. And so I'm just clarifying with Lisa, make sure I know. Yeah. I want to ask them okay. to send somebody out with it's me exactly on Friday, the next yeah. day, because yeah. tomorrow's yeah. Thursday. Yeah. I'm not optimistic they'll be able to dispatch so somebody that fast, right. but I'll try. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, so, this, is I, this is why I get to have the plan. That's your plan. And let's make sure she sends it to you. There's a proposal from them. Okay, but timing, you know. No, it's more that it's just like. With a commitment that they had someone available. Okay. All right. So hopefully I'll, I'll do my best. Call me if all that blows up. Fails. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to go no matter what, and yeah. she's going to send me the protocol. Yeah. And okay. remember, I am a chemist, so yes, I can look at the <laughs> protocol and see what they're doing and say, oh no, <laughs> you did it wrong. Send. So you could make $500. Yeah. So. Turn off the wall. Well, I'm I probably can't. I'm sure there's a rule against are you, that. <laughs> are you on Wi Fi? I tried it on you. Wi Fi and not on Wi Fi. How do you get and on it? It's okay. I don't need it right now. Yeah. In your settings. Do it from home. It'll be fine. Right. Okay. Okay. Discussion on How stand. do you add it? Is there a. I'm in. Yeah. You, I'm you on Sherburn. Sure tomorrow to learn the. Because there's a new. It's Sherburn. What is it? That's. What are you talking yeah. about? There's Sherburn well, Guest, Sherburn Public 2, Sherburn yeah. Public 5, we're Sherburn on, Staff. No, 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 we're not discussing it on air. No, no. <laughs> no, but like we can't say here's right? a password to the Wi Fi on YouTube. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's not on the agenda. We can't Town talk integrity. about it. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. All right, we've got good steps. There will okay. be emails. That will be amazing. Stantec. Okay. What's next? So the. Uh, okay. We talked about some of the interpretations in the Stantec report that didn't quite align with um, uh, discussions had with the Board of Health out in the field. And there's also a posting on the planning board has a blog. There was something on next door that someone asked me a question about. And there was a reference to things look good for Jameson Field to support <laughs> something. And then there was more detail in the blog that referred to the Stantec report where one whole day acknowledged high groundwater, one had no signs of anything, so we're waiting for um, any kind of observation in the monitoring pipe and then some groundwater adjustment vis-a-vis uh, -vis Frimter and all the rest. And then um, the hole that was in the middle, they said, well, they weren't quite sure that the chroma from, from the redox was related to high groundwater, but without a lot of it explanation, I recall. So they're, they're describing it right now as possible. So it's just having people think that it's a go at the moment. But the like question is, like do we want to weigh in on just? I think we should communicate to say, there's a reason we have monitoring wells, right? Mm -hmm. And so I think that there's a piece of assessment that's done. I think it's premature for anything to say, like, what does it mean that something's a go? You can say... No, I, am, no. I am really paraphrasing there. But no, no, but, uh, I, but I think, like, even bigger, like, I think the question we're asking is nobody said... I, I haven't been in a meeting where I've said somebody... Where we said, we are committing to doing this because we are committing to doing a sewage treatment plant 
under the baseball field. I think what we've said is if we've talked about for years we need more data, we should get more data. Mm. And so that's not good or bad, that's just data, right? Yeah. And so I think for no, us- No, but this right now is to the interpretation and whether- I think um, we should encourage all town boards to say, this is a complicated topic. Be cautious and specific in your language because mm -hmm. again, we're doing testing. Saying it once. Report the facts. Report the facts and also like wait until they're there. Like there's no emergency to say we need to get Jameson field testing results right now. We've got half of it. Let's share. Like there's no emergency. Mm -hmm. We should do this thoughtfully, deliberately, and with confidence. Mm -hmm. And I think that I think people can forget how loaded these topics are in the context of a lot of stuff happening downtown. Like, just pause, you know, this isn't urgent. And if we're gonna say, oh, it looks really good, those should be public reports that anybody who wants to have interest can access and can right. see. And if it's like, this person had a phone call with Stantec, but this is this conversation. Well, it's, like, it's partially in the Stantec report, and now it's partially presented by planning board as it's looking pretty feasible. But, but again, like what's feasible? Like what yeah. we, we, we haven't established, this is the ground area required for wastewater treatment plant. We need to have this much area that's mm -hmm. more than five feet from groundwater. If we were gonna do it on the models, then we wouldn't need monitoring wells, right? So like, right. Th this piece looks good. <coughs> Tell us this plan yeah. will proceed. Oh, and no, I, think I, it's just, I agree. I'm yeah. just saying, but it, they are, there are various documents that are out there, but do we need, should we be clarifying any of that or Why? issuing another statement saying what you're saying that we're not there yet like this is why say. we and but and where would we put that well I, <laughs> we don't yeah, have I, mean, what's the, I don't, what's the I don't the think having venue. back and forth will be helpful like yeah. I think it's a question of you know I think one strategy could be here's a memorandum to say hey here's a communication we'd recommend to go to select board planning board and any other you know DPW mm -hmm. to just say hey We've seen these questions out there and questions have come to us. What we would suggest is the following. They may choose to say, hey, I totally agree with that. They may say, I don't agree with that. I'm gonna do my own thing, which is totally their prerogative. Like, yeah. they okay. can say that. But I think what if questions are coming to us as Board of Health to say, hey, I heard this is happening. That surprises me because of this. I suspect that wasn't planning board's bloggers intent, but it gets tricky. Yeah, okay. Does that sound right? Yeah, all right, so. Um Someday, <laughs> I'll, I'll draft and something, or Mark someone else would like to draft something. They, and they will need to continue testing. And well, so can you just walk me through the timing of the monitoring wells? Because I just don't remember that piece from. So Tom. I spoke with them about a month ago. No, maybe three weeks ago, and explained we'll need to continue to go out and check the monitor wells. And if it's snow covered, then we won't be able to do it. But March and April are two very important months to check. And then we can adjust the groundwater. And we talked about looking for similar USGS wells to compare to because it's um, based on the type of soil and the um, topography. So with that said, uh, we had that discussion on groundwater adjustments. But as you noted, too, it's, this isn't going to happen overnight. It, right. I expect at least up till April for this year. And as Daryl said, you know, models were seen. Right. And so, in other systems nearby are raised. So again, it's we're, they're trying right now to disprove the models. Right. But this they may have to be considered part of the story, me. part of the review, not story. It's a review. Close. So, so you were to synthesize and say, let's say we looked at those okay. monitoring models. I just read that. And they say dry the periods in which we assess That's them. That's basically. How would you think about that in the context of the models or the possible modeling, like? How do those two things do it? If you say, we look three times in this cadence, they were dry. Like, what's the gold standard? I would probably ask for another deep hole in April nearby, just to make sure we're accurate and the pipe didn't get clogged up or anything. Okay. So it, it would be questionable. And a small deep hole doesn't have to be, because you're only looking for groundwater. Yeah. Just to see if that pipe was clogged, because the models were so bright. Yeah. I just read the blog. There's nothing in it that says. <coughs> are you reading next door or are you reading I'm the reading actual the planning Sherbert board? Planning board. <coughs> <laughs> but, but I feel like I think it, I'll find the spot. But, know where it is. but I also yeah, but I don't want to. I mean, why are we? Why are we concerned? There have been so people, so much misinformation on Sherbourne next door. Anyway, ninety percent of what's written there is opinion, not fact. So why are we engaging in that? Because this one's on the planning board website. 
what? I just read it. It doesn't say it's, you should read it, the blog. On the planning board website. That's the one I read. Sure. Not reading next door. Sure. Next door didn't blog say. Spot. All, it said there's further studies needed. It doesn't say like, you know, it's saying it's, it's saying it's not infeasible. I mean, it's really not. Well, I think, more but I think, maybe it's, it's been reworded right. since because it was a little stronger. But I'd say, like, either way, I, like, I think it's a so, question of the ceiling of what we'd want to do is send a communication. An alternative would be to do nothing and to say, like, how do we just help make sure the best data possible is there for the town to collectively decide on? And that feels. Like for, to me, closest to our duty, and so I think just Mark staying yeah. engaged with yeah. the process to kind of say, "Hey, this is the piece that people want are, are sort of looking to us for," and I think this is a place where we add value to the town. So how do we keep making sure that value is delivered? And it sounds like we have a reasonable plan for that. So I can ask so questions. They can take. Was pictures. there any observation possible in December? Okay. Two of the three. Um, Unfortunately, the CMD couldn't get the other hole available due to frost in the ground. But they went back out uh, and tried heating the soil, and they were able to, after the 22nd to the 29th, but they were able to put another, um, dig up the soil and not put it back. They put insulation over it, so we may be able to check all three in January if there's no snow. Okay, okay. and were there's the a lot of snow then. two that were checkable, were they still dry? They were dry. And so it sounds like we're glad we've got the monitoring wells. We've got next steps there, and we'll kind of keep plugging along. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And I'll take a look at the blog and see. Yes, yeah, I mean it's changed. It's basically saying it's not based on what we've seen so far. It's not it's precluded. Right. And we install monitoring wells, and they'll need to be checked, and we'll do more study. I mean it's it's pretty even-handed. Okay. Good. I think we're uh, 32 Brush Hill Road. Oh, yeah, what's that? Well it's uh, a well deepening. Yeah. It has a little history. The Board of Health approved the new well back in 2008, and they drove the new well. They came in in 2019 to deepen the well. They got ahead of themselves and ahead of me, and they actually did it. Called for the well pump test, and I didn't realize that one thankfully caught it. It's more of a, a need to just bless it. Um, it was Plus already, what's already been done. It's already yep. been drove, yes. They've already water tested it. Hmm. But, uh, it's been approved prior in 2008, the location. It was just a deep. Okay. So it's um, making Okay, is this just an excerpt of the larger? The okay. And is there any communication we need to give to the well driller? Like, is there somebody who does other well, wells in town that we want to say, hey? Yeah, I, he works in town quite often. Yeah. So, <laughs> I we just kind of say. I already told him. You know, okay. He got ahead of the curve here. The whole Do you have the approval date, Mark, on, of that? 917. Thank you. 2008. Okay, thank you. So, just, can, I'm sorry, I know you said just to walk through the timeline. So, 2008 it was approved, 2016 it was. And so, then what, what was. They weren't getting enough water. So, it's a capacity issue. And when was that? That was in 2016? Uh, no, I don't know when that occurred. Because I just see like well drilled in 2016. Yeah, they came in. 2019 because they could get enough water in the house to deepen it. Okay. Okay. And, and they did. And then they well contested they um, even did quality testing. And it's a manganese, so they got to resolve that. But they're, they're past the approval stage, so we got to go back and get it approved before. We can move forward. We're still catching up. Okay. okay. So, so do they, no, we, like, are they, they submitted using it whatever already? paperwork they need? Mm -hmm. Are they using it? Yes. yes. Oh. Okay. They, they were already using it. They gave it and used the same piping. But there's right, but is, there's, it's, it's deeper, so it's yes. in contact with different minerals and Correct. rock. And they, yep. hit, and they hit me. Have they submitted whatever paperwork they need for this? Yeah, oh, yeah, the fee okay. in the application, okay. yeah. Okay. So we have the analytical? Yeah, it just wasn't yes, right approved by the board. Okay. So you can take that 
All right, so we're just approving the deepening of the that well. Correct, yes. It has already occurred. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and as best we know, they did use the well that was there, so yes. they deepened it. They didn't do yeah, a I new at, well. I was at the pump. Okay. So All right. Great. The schedule and I didn't realize it. Okay. All right. So then, do we have a motion to approve the well deepening for 32 Brush Hill Road? So moved. Second. Do we need any conditions? No. <laughs> Not at this point. Okay. <laughs> All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okie dokie. My goodness. Okay, so. Everything? Oh, can this. Oh. All right, so we have. Um, we just have right. warrants and payroll minutes and yeah. agenda items. So, um, so, Rick, if you'd like to, we just have some administrative and signing of documents. So. Uh, Thank you very much.